All right. On this question, it says, of the 195 students in the senior class, 104 study Spanish, 86 study French, with 12 studying both Spanish and French. What is the theoretical probability that a student cho chosen at random is studying Spanish but not French? So to do this, um, basically we need, to, we need to create a way to uh, understand this problem. And if you guys remember in Algebra 1, one of the idea, one of the ways that we use to represent this is Venn diagrams. So we know that there are, um, so we'll have Spanish and French. We know that there's 12 that are studying both Spanish and French. Does that make sense? OK. Um, so therefore, it says 106 study Spanish. So therefore, this whole circle needs to, I'm sorry, 104. This whole circle needs to add to 104. Well, if there's already 12 in there, how many more do I need to have on the other side? 92, because 92 plus 12 equals 104. On the French side, we have 86 students total. Well, I already have 12 within the circle. So therefore, I need to have 74. Now, they said there's 195 students, total students. So how many students do we have? 92 plus 12 plus 74. That's 178. Well, we have 195 students. So what, how do we represent the other, the other um, amount of the students? Well, that number of students is going to be 17. Yeah, those are going to be represented outside of your Venn diagram. So those would be representing students that are not taking Spanish or French. Okay. So now we've created the Venn diagram. Now let's go and answer the question. What is the theoretical probability that a student chosen at random is studying Spanish but not French? So we have all these little numbers here, right? So um, what is the theoretical probability that a student chosen at random is studying Spanish but not French? So that's that student right there. Or maybe I don't want to confuse you, but that's that student right there. Remember, theoretical probability is the number of outcomes over the equally number of outcomes. Well, how many equally likely outcomes do we have? How many students do we have? 195. So the probability of Spanish, not French, is going to be 92 over 195. So then I will just take 92 divided by 195, and I get 0.47. Forty-seven percent. And does that even like kind of make sense? I mean, think about how many students, right? What's fifth? What like what's half of one ninety-five? Well, it's half. That's almost two hundred, right? It's almost two hundred. What's half of two hundred? One hundred. One hundred would be fifty percent. This is at ninety-two, right? So that kind of makes some sense, right? That it should be less than fifty percent, right? But close to fifty percent. So the answer makes sense. 